I did. Congratulations. We um what a good Yeah, job. we went Oh, it would be it might have been the first weekend it came out. We went to the the Monday night showing at the Indiana Mall where they do the five dollars and the yeah and the, the, the free pop the popcorn and the pop too. Yeah, good it's pretty man. good deal. It's a real good deal. <laughs> it's a good local, good local little theater there. So he has gone to see Barbie, and he's a therefore genuine good dad. He's Chris Anderson with us this morning. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mac, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. So what's going on? Well, I, on my way in here this morning, I've got a little delay. Um, they're doing the paving on North 4th Street today. So if you uh-huh. are coming through town or going north of town, I would uh, be careful. They have the uh, the flagging crew set up there about the uh, about Bob's Pizza and uh, Keystone Gas Station on the, the northern side there. So yes. there is a slight delay if you're traveling that route. That seems to be the theme of this summer is yeah. uh, there's a awful lot of road work going on, which yeah. I, I guess is good news, isn't it? Yeah, it's a ton of resurfacing work by uh, PennDOT. Now, we don't really get involved with the PennDOT projects to, to a certain degree, but um, one, one thing that we we have are, are sanitary sewer manholes. So mm-hmm. some of our sewers run down the road. They run along the edge of the road. So when PennDOT does a resurfacing project, we typically have somebody available if they need a, a riser on our manhole that they're going to add more pavement or um, just make sure that everything's good with our with our with our sewer system, just so there's no. Um, if, if you can remember some of the old the manholes that you dip down in, if you're driving yeah. through the pavement, we try to eliminate that when they do the resurfacing project. So we yeah. provided the necessary risers over here on Philadelphia Street, uh, out towards the state's rental. That uh, hopefully that uh, you know they match those up with the asphalt yeah. and it's you don't bump down into them. Now the night paving began last night on Oakland Avenue and Indian Springs Road. Yeah. which happen to be highway. They're penned on highways, but they're in White Township. Mm-hmm. Uh, so people, naturally, they want to try to avoid all that construction. So they'll go on to some of the other roads and sometimes White Township roads. So people should probably be very aware that uh, there might be an increase in traffic on their road. Yeah, and, and one I will specifically mention is out on East Pike where they're redoing the bridge right now where they have East Pike closed down. There's um, there's a section of Geezy Road out there that is um, township-owned. None and not state. So the detour mostly is the state road, but uh-huh. there is a portion out there that's township. And, and we did get a complaint that the people were driving at a high rate of speed on that portion. So I would ask that if you are taking a detour and you are on a township road, you know, obey the, obey the speed limits and, and yeah. travel through the neighborhoods, you know, nice and, now, Geezy, nice and slow. Geezy Road's a nice road. It's wide when yeah. you get onto that road, it's yeah. surprisingly wide, um, but uh, there's some pretty tricky spots on it too. Yeah, the first the first section there was rerouted when they did the the new runway, and it, it's new standards, wide road, um, nice clear zone, um, and then when you get out past that, there there are some some bends and some yeah ditches on the side of it. It turns into a, few, a more rural road. A few hairpins in there. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, so those are some of the road issues. I'm sure there are others. Uh, what are some of the other things that you want folks to know about today? So, um, just just. The big one, I guess, uh, I'm going to switch a little bit here. Is we we turn the ice compressors on Monday, so oh, yeah. so we start making ice less than a week away. Uh, next Saturday and Sunday are our first events on the ice. So fall season is is upon us. Wow. Um, so we have uh, the soccer fields are fertilized. Travel soccer's kicking off here. Uh, junior high, uh, Indiana Junior High, they utilize our soccer fields up there. So. They're in really good shape. Um, the, the rain, the, you know, the recent rain has really helped them. It's we went through through a dry spot there, and, and now we're back into some rain, so we're having trouble keeping up with the mowing. <laughs> um, the fall recreational programming guide is out. Um, it's hot off the press. Just mentioned a couple things in there. We have the the Keystone Hockey Academy that's 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 in there, and then we have there's a basking making course. Uh, there's some a weaving course if you want to learn how to weave a. Oh, yeah. you know, like a blanket or something. So we're, we're expanding from the traditional only recreation to adding some some additional things, some, mm-hmm. some painting courses, things like that. So if you get a chance, go to the White Township Recreation website and check out that flyer. It's um, it's a really good you know really good set of set of programs that people yeah. can somebody can there's you know, something for everybody in there. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. And and this way you open it up also to people who might not be athletically inclined or 
uh, just might have to be looking for a hobby that they can do all winter long. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a uh, yeah, it's a good set of programs. I'm I'm impressed with it. Yeah, it's good. You you take any of them yourself? You weaving any baskets or anything? No, my kids have done a few here and there, but <laughs> I haven't done any. No, <laughs> um, planning commission tonight. We have planning commission meeting, and I, I'll give everybody an advance notice that we don't have much going on. So. Um, they, they, they might see that one canceled. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we still need to make that decision today, but, uh, that might happen. Um, supervisors, regular meeting tomorrow at one o'clock. Uh, typically, you know, we have, we have a full agenda there for, for that meeting. Those, yeah. those agendas fill up. So, um, busy week, busy week at the township. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. And of course, uh, the, Today is National Pickleball by the Day, if you didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sure yeah. it's, it's always busy in Indiana with pickleball, though. Yeah. There's always someone playing. Pickleball is, is going well, and, yeah. and the court is holding up. Yeah, so they, um, the recreation crews, have started to um, prepare for the flooring out in the arena. If, if, oh, yeah. if you remember, we're doing a small section out there for a couple pickleball courts inside. Mm-hmm. So they've cut the turf up. Um, and, and, and really it's, I say demo work, but it's, it's cutting some of the turf up and then those, the hockey walls, they're just kind of set in place and they just kind of just back them up. Yeah. Just move them out of place and, and, and open up that, that front section of the, uh, the turf side. And once that's complete, then we're going to work with the installer to there you go. get the flooring out there. And hopefully by the winter here, they can have a, an indoor we can have an indoor spot for pickleball, maybe tennis, some some indoor basketball. Good stuff. So yeah, so it's um, projects coming along. It's all coming together, and we're out of time. How about that. Oh, so <laughs> did the edit in the morning and stuff. We use CCS. One hundred one point one FM and AM eleven sixty WCCS, Homer City, Brush Valley. W-